Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ricky with TechLab Solutions. Just a friendly reminder, tomorrow it is the CPI data report. That is both for CPI and core CPI. For those that are unaware, CPI is our inflation report, and this is released every single month one hour before the market opens and tomorrow on wednesday may 10th one hour before the market opens the cpi data report will be released i'll leave it up to you guys i'm here on vacation i definitely don't have to but if you guys get this video to over 1500 likes i'll host that free live cpi data report live stream and again all you need to do is subscribe to the channel and also get this video to over 1500 likes and I'll take care of the rest, right? So for those that are unaware and that want to understand what the market expectation is, I thought I'd share it for you guys in this video. So May 10th, 2023 market expectation, the forecast for this up and coming CPI data report is going to be 5%. They actually expect our inflation rate to stay the same from 5% to 5% month over month. Now, what I wanted to ask you also is, I'd be more than happy to assist you guys in breaking this all down on how to actually read the CPI data report because the part that I find very interesting is we're going to be adding the next month of April, right? Because now we're in May. But the way that this thing works is the month has, has to complete itself and then it gets released on the following month. So we're gonna be reporting for the month of April, which means that we take away the previous month of April, right? And that's a 0.4% increase. Now, of course, it's not just a direct um, addition to the formula. There's a specific formula on how the actual CPI data report is calculated. But because, right, one of the main reasons that we saw such a large drop last month is because we took away the previous March of 2022 and added our new March. And as you can see, the difference is quite significant. We take away a full percentage point and then we only add 0.1 as that was the only difference and increase of inflation that we saw in the month of March for 2023. The part that's gonna be very interesting is are we only going to see roughly around a 0.4% increase in the month of April, which should pretty much leave us at that same 5% mark? And again, there's an exact formula. It's not just adding it all across the board, uh, but I thought that I could break this down for you in maybe a later video today. You guys can just let me know down in the comment section, but if you have it all figured out, then there's no reason for me to do so. It's super easy to read these reports. So I'd love to actually share it with you guys in today's later video, and I'll also be sharing it with you guys live tomorrow for the CPI data report if you get this video to over 1500 likes but again this is all available and i want to make sure that you guys are aware of this this is all available for free through bls.gov forward slash cpi and this is the official website where the actual report gets released now what is my expectation for the market well as of right now we just wrapped up our live trading session with the lpp team and then on the five minute time frame you could see that right now we are testing that same support range that we were yesterday the thing that you need to be very careful with is that we did sell off a little bit yesterday and then we made a full recovery and made new highs to highs of 324 now that is also something you need to be very careful with so again watch that position size and never be afraid to lock in profits because there is always quick changes of direction anytime there is a big report coming up just like the cpi data report tomorrow so it's not going to surprise me today if we're seeing a lot of choppiness with the overall market and what is to be reported tomorrow. I also do want to make sure that you are aware that yes, we have CPI tomorrow, but we also have PPI on Thursday and that's the producer price index, which is inflation on the producing side of things. So I just wanted to make sure that you guys were aware. The last thing that I wanted to share with you guys is we're going to be hosting our free live trading session this Friday once again, and I'm going to be giving away another $1,000. A lot of you guys gave us such positive feedback on the one that we hosted last Friday, and being very honest with you guys, I mean, I wasn't feeling the best on that uh, live session, so I hope that there's going to be a lot more trading activity happening this Friday, but also giving away $1,000. And again, spots are limited. If you want to save your spot and to make sure that you don't miss it, it's going to be the first link in the description down below. You can save your free spot. And again, join us for our free live trading session and I will be giving away another $1,000 during this session. So other than that, just wanted to keep you guys up to date. I do have an open position on SQQQ right now. I'm thinking about closing pretty uh, pretty soon. Um, and again, as we approach our previous resistance range, I'm probably gonna sell it here. 
um, I'll at least reduce 3,000 shares of SQQQ as we're approaching overbought levels. And here it goes, 3,000 shares, selling $87,000 worth of it. And there it goes, so far so good on the day. Just trying to not overcomplicate my trading right before that CPI data report. So again, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys, get this video to over 1,500 likes. Let's host that free live, uh, free CPI data report live stream tomorrow, one hour before the market opens. And then I'll leave it at that. So hope that we earned a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me via Discord or via Instagram. That's all linked in the description. And don't forget to enter our GTR giveaway. If you want to learn more about that, it's the fourth link in the description down below. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.